Every day we come out here and suit up and I just think how lucky am I and, and those 70 minutes out here are probably the best that I have the, the entire week. Dana Dovey Attack Baltimore Ride from Fergus, Ontario, Canada and the University of Maryland. Lacrosse was absolutely like in my blood growing up. My father was a big time lacrosse player in our hometown of Fergus and I have an older brother, three years older than I am, Jason, who was just a stud lacrosse player growing up. Obviously I was that annoying little sister that just followed right behind him and wanted to be him when I grew up. So um, I started playing when I was four years old box lacrosse uh, with the boys. Um, and my parents signed me up for t-ball, soccer, and lacrosse. I was a big hockey player as well, but after that summer they were like, Dana, you know, what, what's your favorite sport uh, that we want to sign you up for next season? And I was like, absolutely hands down lacrosse, I want to be a lacrosse player. So from that point on it was lacrosse every day. My dad taught me how to pass, catch, and, and do it behind the back as soon as I could. So um, some of that stuff's just so natural to me now. Right, and what a bowl there. It was a great shot, Daniel. We went right between your legs, brought her stick up and around, and finished right down low against so it's so funny, people are like, how those trick shots are so awesome. And, and for me, like I said, I learned how to do it behind the back just when I was learning how to do an overhand as well. So uh, for me, it was one of those in box lacrosse, obviously they're getting your hands and take away space. So it's, you can't switch hands when you're getting cross checks. So behind the back is the next be best option. So uh, it's funny, I don't even think about it when I'm out there. It's just kind of natural. I, I lose my angle, lefty up and can just let it go. It's the ball inside the Dana Dovey for in between them. We had a friend in, in our hometown that gave me a flyer to, about the under-19 Canadian national team field lacrosse. And I'd never played field lacrosse before. I didn't know there was women's lacrosse out there. So I showed up with my box lacrosse equipment and my stick with a huge pocket and, and the uh, ladies were like, no, 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 here's your stick. I was like, this isn't a stick, this is a tennis racket. What am I supposed to do with this? Um, so that point on, I knew my future was going to be with the national team and, in field lacrosse, so I had to hang up all my box equipment, which was fine because it stunk really bad anyways. Um, and they just had goggles and a mouth guard and skirt and went from there. When I learned about field lacrosse, obviously the next thing you learn when there's field lacrosse, you learn about Jen Adams and the Terps. So my goal and my dream was always to play for Maryland, but I didn't think uh, a kid from Fergus, Ontario, Canada was maybe good enough or, or polished enough to play at that program. So I had some Canadian teammates on the senior team that uh, told their coach about me at Ohio University and that was the only uh, call I got to go to college. So I went to Ohio University, played for two years, redshirted my junior year, and then after that I was like, I got two years left to play, and my dream was always to play at Maryland. It ended up transferring there to play for Kathy Reese and Jen Adams for my junior, second junior year, and my senior year with the Turks. So uh, I, I was pretty fortunate to get that experience. I just can't believe coaching lacrosse is, can be a profession um, and one they pay me for. So I'm going to keep doing it until they figure out that that's something I would do for free. But um, I just feel really honored to have the opportunity to coach and mentor 18 to 21 year olds um, in a sport that I'm so passionate about. I think it's a vehicle to success in any aspect of your life. Um, and I've had so many friends traveled, had so many experience because of lacrosse. So to have that opportunity to give that to my players, I feel very fortunate and honored for that opportunity. For me, there's nothing better than playing um, and to play for Jen as well. With players that I've looked up to my whole career and, and have watched them play in college as well, I just, it's amazing. I appreciate and thank everyone for this opportunity. Um, and I'm looking forward to the athletes in the future that get to play on this stage as well.